hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, I'm making this video to share with you a bit of a workaround uh, that I found out uh, I am running uh, Eclipse on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, uh, if you can see it's Eclipse uh, <coughs> I'm running uh, the bundle Eclipse and uh, Android so uh, what's what what's happening is uh, let me show you what uh, I'm facing as a problem when I try to select something on the source file or try to uh, to do some operation that uh, try to call the autocomplete my Eclipse crashes um, let's try to do this let's for instance go here uh, and select as you can see it's just crashed so what I found out is to do uh, you see this line here because I've, I've just pasted it here to to to, to not like type everything uh, we're going to to put this line uh, on the eclipse.ini to avoid that problem I'm going to put this line on the description of this video you, you can just go there and copy and paste it so let's relaunch our Eclipse um, okay there we go we, we have to wait a little bit because it has to build the works the workspace and it's gonna take a bit of, uh, it's gonna take a while let's just be a bit patient and let me just close this because this is bullshit um, <coughs> let's see it's still like building so you can just look get there and see uh, when it get completed then um, I can uh, we can do it again okay let's try for one more time and then I will show you what I think is the work I want to solve this okay let's go back uh, let's see you see I just pointed on on that uh, on that class name you know it's supposed to call the autocomplete and it crashed again so uh, what we're going to do now we're going to go to where we installed our Eclipse and look for the you know where you install your Eclipse or where you unzip your if you if you had uh, like unzipped it look for this Eclipse.ini what I'm gonna ask you to do is to open that file so I'm going to use this JD to open it I'm opening it and then what I'm going to do the line that I've shown you this line we're going to copy this line and then paste it at the end of the eclipse.ini file and then we're going to save it okay so now we can try to launch our eclipse and try again let's see uh, Let's be a little bit patient because we need to wait for Eclipse to rebuild the workspace. It will take a few seconds. Ah, this is really annoying. Let me just close this. For now, we're going to reopen it later on. Okay, let's wait for it to rebuild the workspace gonna take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your computer um, we're still waiting okay I'm quite sure that it should be okay so let's try the same operation let's try to uh, select the activity name and see if it's going to crash again okay this was the action that we did you see when I did this before, as you can remember, it crashed. And when I was pointing there, it crashed. As you can see now, I don't have a problem. So I've I've changed that parameter and set uh, the default browser to Mozilla. I also have Mozilla installed on the machine, as you can see there. So uh, this is the workaround to this problem. So I'm going to put the line, that line on the video description. J just uh, do whatever I do. Uh, if you are using uh, Ubuntu 14 uh, 
uh, 0.04. I don't know if it's this if it's this workaround will work on other version of Ubuntu. Okay, I will say goodbye here. I will see you on the next video. If you like my video, please subscribe to the channel. Bye.